Well, I figured it's been a while since you've seen my ugly mug. I figured it's nearly Halloween. Best time as any. It was my birthday recently, and I was very kindly brought some amazing uh, markers and pens from the company Deco Time. Uh, bought by my partner and my son. Got lo some lovely selections here. So I thought, let's have a go. We'll try with the metallic and aqua twin markers first. I won't try the uh, aqua side of them because I know exactly what will happen. I will get in a mess. However, the cool thing about these, uh, I've dropped it. Cool thing about these is you can the aqua markers. I do believe, if I remember rightly, you can add water for a watercolor effect. So there we go. Now, I'm going to try this one first. Comes out with some lovely color there. Lovely shade in there. So I like that one. Let's try and the next one. That one comes out as some lovely metallic yellow. as well. Some lovely shades on those. I can draw some many, many, many weird pictures with these. Absolutely brilliant. The way they glide across the page and they don't soak through your paper, ruining the ones under it. And You could do some wonderful shading on these. I figured I might as well do all of them in one, save making you wait each time. Look at the wonderful selection of colours there. I could do a lot of things with that. And those are the metallic and aqua twin twin markers, sorry. So these ones. Absolutely lovely to use and just like I said, they glide across the page beautifully. Now we're going to go on to the uh, glitter markers. And as you know me, I do love a good glitter marker. So let's open these bad boys up. There's quite a few of them, so I'll only go for a couple of my favourites. We'll start with purple. Because as you probably noticed from my work, I do a lot of purple. So... so. I'm not sure it'll pick it up on the camera, but the glitter in the ink, it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm really looking forward to, like, uh, drawing some cool things with that. I'd be remiss if I didn't do the pink one. Again, these just glide over the page beautifully. It's a shame the camera doesn't pick up the lovely, like, glittery ink. Like glittery nature and the ink, but they're beautiful. So definitely well worth getting the glitter twin markers. Like again, they're from they're also from Deco Time. But then my personal favourite are the aqua markers. Which also gladly and thankfully if I can get it out the box, that is. There we go. No, let's just tear the box. That's the only problem with uh, craft supplies sometimes. Now these come in a stackable tray. They're wonderful. With each set you get, 
not only do you get all these wonderful colours, they do a whole range of different colours, shades, all sorts. They come in this lovely holder, which you can then stack one on top of another, which for someone like me, I absolutely love. So let's try a couple of these. I'm going to try the pineapple one. Look at that. Lovely nib there. Oh, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this one in the light because it's a very bright one. So let's choose a different one. That one's very bright. Oh, we you know what? Let's go for Dark Forest. So you've got the normal, the normal end, just there. Lovely shading, but then you have the brush one. Which shows off the color, just lovely, look at that. And again, absolutely just glides over the page, beautiful. You can really get some good like curves and like shades in there. I'll try one more for you lucky, lucky people get rid of me. This one, I forgot to look, is golden yellow. So I'll do the pin end first. And then we'll do the marker so you can see, see the uh, comparison. I like how thin the thin liner is because sometimes when you're doing your art and the lines you can splurge out and it isn't actually thin whereas this one it's just like really pinpoint with its, like, with its lines and then with the brush pen you can really get like a lovely curl on that I really like that well again these were from Deco time. So we've seen glitter twin markers, metallic and aqua twin markers, and we've seen the aqua markers, which are both fine line and brush. They're absolutely brilliant. If you can get them, I urge you to get them. They're absolutely brilliant. I use them all the time for my prints. So now again by deco time you can get them in pretty much anywhere and uh give them a follow on instagram as well because of the simple fact that you can get to see their whole range on there and it's just phenomenal and for a pen geek like me i absolutely love their range so you can't go wrong with that can you anyway that's enough of my ugly mug and talking about pens i will see you on the next time